What's going on, YouTube? This is Walking by Faith. And uh, I just want to wish everybody a happy 4th of July. I hope everybody is safe and um, they're enjoying their, their time with their families during this COVID crisis. And uh, I hope everybody uh, that does fireworks tonight will be safe. Because uh, there has been some uh, mishaps that have been shown on the news about the dangers of fireworks. Furthermore, um, I don't generally partake in pagan holidays just because um, the majority of the holidays that we have on our calendar are pagan holidays. But nevertheless, happy 4th of July anyways. And uh, I'm coming to do this quick video just to sh further show the fallacy and uh, this, the messages that these people on YouTube are preaching as far as metanoia, the, cha the changing of one's mind. And once you believe in a nanosecond, you are sealed. But what they fail to tell you and what they fail to realize is that there's more to it than just the change of your mind. It is a process. OK, it is a process process to be sanctified and to be justified and to be converted into a new creature and a born again Christian. OK, um, it's more to it than just a nanosecond of. Of, of saying that um, you, that you uh, believe that Messiah died on the cross of Calvary for the remission of our sins and you accept him wholeheartedly as your Lord and Savior, uh, uh, Jesus, but our Messiah, but um, there's more to it. It's a, it is a process, you know, uh, when you pick up your cross and follow after Messiah. So I'm going to be reading a few passages of scripture to further show you the fallacy in their whole thought process and their whole thing of metanoia, the changing of one's mind. OK, so here we go. First and foremost is this um, Messiah, Messiah and Father God changes our hardened stoned hearts back into flesh because of all the sins that we commit, it hardens our hearts. So when you become a, a, a new creature or a born again Christian, Messiah turn, turns your, your stony heart back in the flesh. And, and uh, you can find that in the passage of scripture out of Ezekiel 30, uh, 36. Verses 25, 25 to, to 33. So here we go. Wait a minute. Make that 23. Make that 23. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profound among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, saith the Lord Father, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of the countries and will bring you into your own land. Then I will sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all the filthiness and from all the idols will I cleanse you a new heart also will I give you a new spirit will I put within you I will say I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and I will give you a heart of flesh and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes so you so so uh, you do have to uh, obey Messiah and Father God. It's not just um, confessing. You have to follow the statutes as well, because it just said it right here. But let them tell you otherwise that 
all you have to do is just confess and believe in your heart and then in a nanosecond you're sealed and the whole metanoia thing <laughs> so let's continue i will put my spirit within you and cause you in my statutes or cause cause you to walk in my statutes and ye shall keep my judgments and do them and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave your fathers and ye shall be my people and I will be your father. I will also save you from all your uncleanliness and I will call you for the corn and will increase it and lay the fa and, and will lay no famine upon you. And I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the increase of the field that ye shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathens. Now, as far as famine is concerned, some people take that out of context as far as uh, uh, thinking that famine means uh, like, you know, the dry, uh, the drying up of the food. That's part that's part of it. But it also means uh, to be spiritually famined. OK, it's going to come a point where the great falling away is going to happen. And. um and uh, so many people are going to fall from their fall away from their faith and turn into uh, fables and they're going to be spiritually famined. They're going to turn away from the truth and they're going to be spiritually starved. Just like the 501c3 uh, dumbs down their flocks and gives them milk instead of meat. But anyhow, let's continue. And I will multiply the fruit of the tree and increase of the field that ye shall receive. Oh, I already read that. Then shall ye remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good and shall loathe yourselves in own sight. In your own sight for iniquities and for your abominations. Not for your sakes that I do this, saith the Lord Father, but it, it be it known unto you, be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord Father, in the day that I shall have cleansed you from all your iniquities, I will also cause you to dwell in the cities and the waste, the waste shall be builded. So that was out of Ezekiel. It's not just metanoia. He changes your your he he sanctifies you, he justifies you, and he changes your heart, your heart condition. Because because uh before you accepted him, your hearts were hardened as well as my heart was hardened. And so he turned that stony hardened heart back into flesh. And I went through that. That's called circumcision. That's that's called the circumcision of your heart. Now I'm going to be reading out of Philippians chapter three. So here we go. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, is not grievous, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the concision. For we are the true circumcision which worship Father in the Spirit and rejoice in Messiah and have no confidence in the flesh. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he hath whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of the Hebrews, as the touching of the law, a Pharisee. Concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Messiah. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things 
but loss of the ex excellency of the knowledge of Messiah, my Lord, for, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Messiah and to be found in him, not having my own righteousness, but is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Messiah and the righteousness, which is a father by faith that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might attain the resurrection of the dead. Continuing. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfected, I follow after, if that I may uh, apprehend that for which also am I apprehended of Messiah. Brethren, I count not myself to say to have apprehended, but this one thing I be, I do, forgetting those things which were behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before I press toward the mark of the prize of the of the high calling of father in Messiah. Let us therefore as many be perfect be thus minded and if any thing ye be otherwise minded father shall reveal even this unto us or unto you. Nevertheless whereto we have already attained. Let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same thing. Brethren, be, follows to, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. For many walk of whom I have told, told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Messiah, whose end is destruction, whose Father is their belly, or whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who minded, who mind earthly things. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Messiah, who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue, subdue all things unto himself. Now skipping over to Peter. Peter, the apostle of Messiah to the strangers scattered through Pontus, Gal Gal Galatea, Cappadocia, Asia, and B Bethania, elect according to the foreknowledge of a father through the sanctification of the spirit unto obedience. But yet, let these people say that you don't have to be obedient. You just have to change your mind, metanoia, and 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 that nanosecond, you're good. Elect according to the foreknowledge of Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Messiah. Grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the Father of the Lord Messiah, which according to his abundant mercy, hath begotten us again unto the lively hope by the resurrection of Messiah from the dead, to the inheritance uncorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of Father through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, Though now for a season, if need be, ye are heaviness through manifold temptations. The trial of your faith being much more precious than gold that perisheth through, through it be tried with fire might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Messiah, whom having not seen ye love in whom 
Though now ye see him not, yet believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently. Oop, wait a minute. I lost my spot. Searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, searching what or what manner of, of time the spirit of Messiah which was in them did signify when it is testified beforehand that the sufferings of Messiah and the, and the glory that should follow, unto whom it was revealed not unto themselves but unto us, they did minister the things which now report unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you within the Holy Ghost sent down from the heaven, which things are, which things the angels desire to look. Wherefore, gird up your loins of your minds, be sober and, and hope to the end of the grace that is that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Messiah as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance. But as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, be ye holy for I am holy. And if ye call on the father with who without respect of per persons judgeth according to every man's work past the time of your sojourning here in fear. For so much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible, corruptible things as silver and gold from the vain conversation received by traditions from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Messiah as the land without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last thing or last times for you, who by him do believe in Father that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory, and your faith and hope might be in Father. See ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit un unto unfeigned love of, of the brethren. See that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. Being born again, not of corrupt corruptible seed, but of uncorruptible by the word of father, which liveth and abideth forever. For all flesh is as grass and all the glory of men as the flower of grass, the grass wherewith withereth the <clears throat> the grass the grass withereth and the flower thereof falleth away but the the word of of the lord endureth forever and this is the word which is by the gospel is preached unto you wherefore laying aside all malice and all guile and all hypocrisies and envy envies and all evil speakings as newborn born babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye grow thereby if so be ye have tasted the lord tasted that the lord is gracious to whom can coming as un, unto a living stone disallowed indeed of men but chosen of father and precious ye also a living stone are built up a spiritual house and a holy priest to offer the spiritual sacrifices acceptable to, to Father by Messiah. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion the, ch the chief cornerstone, elect precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. <sighs> Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the cornerstone. And the stone of stumbling and the rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being 
disobedient where unto also they were appointed. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, unholy nation, a pe peculiar people, that ye should shew forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into the marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of Father, which hath obtained mercy, but have obtained, wait a minute, which had not obtained mercy, but have but now have obtained mercy. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lust, which war against the soul, having your conversation amongst honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify Father in the day of visitation. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man to the Lord's sake, whether it be to a king as supreme. For so, or wait a minute, or unto governors as unto them that sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of Father that with well-doing ye may, may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. As free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of the Most High. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear father, honor the king. Servants, be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the froward. For this is th thankworthy if a man for, c for conscience toward father endure grief, suffering wrongfully. For what glory is it if when... Ye are buffeted for your faults that ye take it patiently. But if when ye, ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with Father. And the last passage of scripture is going to be out of Second Peter 1, 16 to through 21 and then I'm going to wrap this video up for we have not cunningly devised fables when we when we made known unto you the power and the coming of our Lord Messiah but were eyewitnesses of his majesty for he received from father the honor and glory when there came such a voice of him from the excellent glory this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And this voice which came from the heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mountain, holy mount, we have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto you ye do well that ye take heed as unto light that shineth in the dark in a dark place until the day of dawn and the day star rise in your hearts, knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came, came not in the old time by the will of man, but holy men of father spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Hmm. So, I just read a bunch of passages of scripture out of 1 Peter, 2 Peter, Ezekiel, showing the fallacy in these people's metanoia change of heart. It's not metanoia, okay? It's repentance. Messiah did not preach the gospel of metanoia or the changing of one's mind. He, he preached the gospel of repentance. 
Not once saved, always saved. So, I said it once and I'm going to say it again. If you walk after the Spirit, or we're, we're commanded to walk after the Spirit and not after the flesh. Okay? Because the flesh is of the world and of Satan, and the Spirit is of Messiah and of Father God and of heaven. And your flesh and your spirit, man, are, are at constant war because the flesh wants to do the worldly things, but the spirit wants to do, wants to do the, uh, uh, spiritual things and of heaven. Okay. To be carnally minded is death. To be spiritually minded is life. But the, 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 the message that these people are pushing, the one saved, always saved, is that, like I said, and I'm not saying this to be malicious or to be mean, but you cannot, and I said it in my last video and other videos before that, you cannot serve two masters. E either you are of the world or you are in the world. Either you are a son, either you receive the adoption of father Therefore, we, we cry, Abba, Father, which, uh, which that scripture is in Romans. And, and um, either you receive the adoption of, of uh, being a son or the daughter of the Most High. And once that happens, and once Father receives you as a son or as a daughter, your DNA turns into his DNA. Or you are a bastard seed of Satan. But you can't be both. Okay. So that whole metanoia thing is not, it's not biblical. Messiah did not teach or preach metanoia. Okay. He preached the gospel of repentance. Just like he never said anything about the rapture. I'm going to keep saying it a million times over. The rapture is a 19th century doctrine. That was made by a 19th century theologian or theologian. Okay. So with that being said, I'll pray. I beg, I beseech you to test the spirits. Ask Father God for the discernment to reveal you the truth of what it means to be truly sealed by the Holy Spirit and to truly be a born again Christian. And to truly be converted, okay? I pray that you will take the time to study the, the, uh, the, the living word of Father for your own. As opposed to listening to these people and putting, putting your soul, your everlasting soul in their hands. Because like I said before, and I'm going to say it again, they can't save. They can't save you. They can't save your soul. Father can. Messiah can. Paul can't. And they can't. So with that being said, I hope you like the message. And as always, I love you as all my brothers and sisters in Messiah. Father loves you. Father, bless you. Father, keep you. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.